we are starting fulfillment officially this week. You guys will be getting, well, those first orders. We'll be getting ISOM number two. I'm so excited. Can't wait for you guys to read it. You're going to enjoy the story. However, the pre-order campaign, that window technically does not end until next month, like a full month from now. So you got a plenty, plenty of time. If you are one of those first buyers that are going to be getting it with the early fulfillment, do your reviews, talk about it online. We know word of mouth is our biggest marketer, man. So don't hesitate. But today I'm going to be discussing before I be... <laughs> I mean, just drowning in shipping packages. I did a video not too long ago, and I discussed how this is different. The, the, the era of this strike is not like what, what we've seen in the past. It's not, that doesn't mean that they're not going to make a deal at some point. The reason why I'm saying this, things are different. You got the writer strike, you got the act strike. It's happening at both times. However, both of them don't really have a bargaining chip. They kind of are a match made in hell, and yes, they actually need each other. I will say that. However, definitely writers, definitely actors and actresses. Things have changed. You're being competed with a lot more than you have been in the past with independent filmmaking, making uh, independent entertainment altogether. Also, the content that has been produced as of late, it's not been, yeah, you have your hits for sure. But, like, on average, you're getting a lot of duds, um, overspending, and they're not getting a return. The studios aren't getting the return that they desire. Um, people aren't as fond of you as they were before. Definitely the actors and actresses you've told on yourselves, really since 2015-ish era, 2016. You guys are going out your way to tell the folks that you hate half of the voting population. So there's a, a mix. It's just a worse time to be really be striking. And there was an interesting article covered by Variety. It actually was an exclusive. And their four the major terminations uh, for first look overall deals that struck companies coming early as August 1st. Major Hollywood studios and streaming platforms are considering terminating some of their first look and overall deals with the writers as soon as August 1st, which is right around the corner. More than half a dozen sources with knowledge of the various term agreements and talks inside these companies told Variety the deals that will be torn up under contractual force clauses as SAG after and the Writers Guild of America continue to strike. Decision makers could begin ending these packs as soon as next week and insiders from both the creative community and the corporate counterparts. Many of these deals were suspended only a week into the strike in May by producers, including Amazon, HBO, yada, yada. The writer strike is also rapidly approaching the 90 day mark. Historically, deal makers have the option to kill agreements in the face of an active guy. The common show business interpretation for how the phrase. Yeah, basically, you guys ain't getting in step. Uh, what's the point? And this is why, you know, we all saw those early reports and it was like, yeah, they they're willing to wait this out. Y'all start losing houses and stuff. That's what the studio said. And then when I acknowledged that y'all didn't have a bargaining chip, these weirdos uh, came out and said, "Folks like myself, oh, we're p p protective of the corporate entity and you know corporate boot licking and all these other these stupid terms that they like to use." When really the people that are kissing the asses of the mega corporation are these clowns in the unions. It's these clowns uh, that support these. I almost used the word support these weird unions and these uh, uh, clowns who, despite having all this money, like these guys that are at the top the, in terms of these actors and, and building their own studios that are self-funded, right? That can produce their own projects to correct all of the financial issues that they say plague their industry. They're begging the mega corporate uh, entities to pay them still. Maybe they ain't such geniuses anymore or they never were. Let's just say that. Overall deals typically pay overhead for a writer's company and fund development of projects. First look deals also provide financial padding and in return guarantee the studio or the company has favored nation status when it comes to determining potential distribution or series of film. The deals being considered for termination are almost exclusively in television. So television again, the television model is changing. Everybody knows that streaming has introduced a new element. Mega Corbos tried to get in on that. They're not making that much money. 
However, that is certainly an opportunity for a lot of independent stuff. People are putting their stuff on YouTube, on other websites, all of that good stuff. Sources at the top as far as episodes and, and, you know, more TV kind of oriented material, short films, if you will. Sources at the top agencies representing the writer said uh, they had not received any official notice regarding August 1st date, but many expect to start receiving word next week. The studios notified them of a deal, suspensions and writing or on phone calls in May. Variety reported at the time the move to terminate which many consider drastic but necessary as labor conflicts drag on, is more complicated than previous strikes. Again, it's not just another strike. Everybody knows that. Since that time, streaming has exponentially increased the volume of content being produced, which has made first look and overall deals more common in the ecosystem as a result in the 2007-2008 strike, when the term agreements or deals were shredded, almost immediately top talent now have safeguards in their contracts to, pro- to t- protect against this. Well, we'll see what happens. The deals for major creators at the level of Ryan Murphy and even Tyler Perry stipulate that their packs cannot be jettisoned unless a given studio enacts the clause for all the term agreements they hold. This could lead to a significantly less bloodshed if terminations go into effect. Bros are going to start getting canned. I mean, that's just the over, like, like I said, I, I think that these people are kidding themselves that they think that the studios are just about to start eating costs. It's just not going to happen. And like I said, they're the ones with the money. So they're really the, the, you know, they got the power here. And definitely as people re- we rewatch old material that they have in their possession, I think they're willing to hold it out a lot longer than what these writers are, as well as the actors are. Um, and I think that this this fall through, as well as some of the others kind of market indicators that we're starting to see, is just showing that things are changing. And I don't know where it's going to get where it's going to end. I do think, as I've said, that there will be a deal met. I don't think it's going to be nearly as favorable as what these guys are desiring. I don't think they have they have the capacity to do that. They don't they don't have the bargaining chip to make that happen. So it's just it's just going to be, hey, we're running out of cat food to eat. We need to uh, <laughs> uh, we need monies. All right, whatever. Just sign a deal. We're going to continue to get screwed over. Look, guys, in entertainment, it's not just with Hollywood. It is all across the board with entertainment. All you guys that sit up here and talk up a storm about how things suck, people don't get paid, people ain't getting paid enough, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. And everybody thinks that they got every answer as to how easy this is to uh, make the solution for. And I'm telling you right now that they're full of shit. They've always been full of shit. And that's indicative in the fact that this is the greatest opportunity they can get to branch off and do their own thing and do it consistently, not just as a, Hey, I just need a little money right now. I'm talking for the long term and all the, the people that got all the answers can pull their resources or rather put their heads together and they could find a solution and which will pay these writers and these actors what it is that they feel they deserve. But instead they beg for the mega corporate entity to pay them because they deep down understand risk that is associated with going out on your own and doing your own thing. You see, the mega corporate empire, if you will, is always going to be the status quo that will be so protected because a lot of these guys know that there is no other side of this that may, let's say this, that they have a spot guaranteed, right? So it's attractive to protected even if you sit up here and say it's like the battered wife syndrome you can sit up here and say all day long that you hate stockholm is more accurate but they'll be crawling right back to it every time demanding y'all pay me but that's the funny thing about it all they're in a slimbo because it's not like the solution is going to happen you're not going to get it from the corpos you're simply not so you got a couple of options here you can go get a crap deal or you can go out on your own and be a part of that solution. Some will, but a lot of these cats ain't got it in them. They just simply don't.